Welcome to Foundations TV, everybody. Our guest today is a very interesting one. We have a young kid who's actually in fifth grade, and his name is Samuel. And from what I understand, he has exceptional creative abilities and remarkable analytical skills and originality as well. And as his mom says, he has mathematical intuition. And that's what intrigued me and made me invite him to the Foundations TV studio today. So Samuel, Welcome to Foundations TV. Thank you. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. Okay, great. So, um, well, what from what I hear is you're also a very independent kind of a child and a very hardworking kind of a child. Yeah. So that leads us to our first question, Samuel. What I want to know is what are your passions in relations to academics as well as non-academics? Both. Um, my passions are piano, drums, and math. Piano, drums, and math. That's a very interesting question, I mean, combination, because it has music as well as math, right? So if you had to pick one, let's say you had a day to yourself, okay? And you don't have to go to school, and your mom and dad are not telling you what you're going to do today. So what would you choose to do on so that day? So usually on a typical no school day, if I if I have homework from from the program which I go to, like the math program which I go to, I usually do it. And once I finished it, I go onto this online math website. And then once I finished like enough skills on the math website, I call my mom and, and ask if I can play or something. And then my mom says, usually practice piano or write an essay or you can play. And if she gives me any other assignment like practice music and or write an essay. I usually write the essay and do my music and then I call her again and then she says I can play. Okay, so basically, um, you know, I, we, I, I want to talk about the math program that you spoke of, right? So let's go into a little detail mm -hmm. of it. Now, from what I understand is you, you were in fifth grade and you started uh, a supplemental math program uh, a few years ago. How long ago I was it? I started the program that? about two and a half years ago when I was in second grade and, and in October. Okay, and uh, how, how? What describe to me the topics that you started with, and what topics are you learning right now? I started with order of operations. Then in I, second grade, you started with order of operations. Well, no, first I started with addition, and then I went over to okay. order of operations. Okay. Oh my goodness me! Wow. And and then I started algebra. Wow. And what are you doing right now? Right, in, right now I'm doing statistics. Now, this is a genius kid we have here. I mean, two and a half years, Samuel, this is unbelievable. And you've covered almost, the way you've described it to me, seems like you've covered about eight years worth of program outside of your school, besides what you learn in school, besides the piano and the drums that you love to play. You've gone out of your comfort zone and you've done so much. So that's really, really good. Yeah. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. That's good. That's, how does it feel to be a genius kid? How does it feel as far as, you know, when you're interacting with other kids or in school? Do you feel like you know more or you feel happy? Or how, describe to me how you feel. Well, I don't feel like so arrogant, arrogant that I know so That's much That's good. Math. Yeah. The, how do you feel? Like, usually I just go with the flow. Yeah. Like. Yeah. So you have friends in your school that you have a good time with? Yeah. Good. Good. So he's a genius kid and socially having a good time as well. That's awesome. So um, what do you dream of when you I do you dream of do? becoming a mathematician. Like a Why am I not surprised? <laughs> like, a per like a person who works with statistics. Wow. And I also want to solve problems like America's international debt, debt which is $12 trillion. Oh, my God. Wow. So my near-term goals is to finish the math program because I'm almost at the end of it. And online, I'm, gonna do a, I'm going to do a peak course, calculus courses. And I've already finished the summer homework for one of the AP courses, and I'm planning to do the okay, rest so of it. Okay, so what school do you go to? St. Bridget School in Framingham. Okay, all right, all right. So are you in your grade level, like your fifth? How old are you? Ten. So you are in your grade level, right? Are you yeah. planning to skip your grade at all, a grade? 
Mm, no. No. You you like being with your age kids. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. So do do uh, kids of your class or your friends come and ask you for help? A lot of times for math, since you're such a genius. Mm, yeah. They do. Yeah, do you usually. like helping them? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Oh, very nice. So do you have any advice for them? Like if you were to, let's say I had a whole room filled with little kids who want to know, I want to get better in math. So what would you tell those kids? Why don't you look at them? Let's pretend like mm. they're over there. And let's look at them and talk to them and tell them, you know, just pretend like behind the camera there's like 10 kids asking okay. you this. How do I get better in math? Let's see. Here you go. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Lazy hands make a man poor. A dream doesn't come by magic. It requires always, hard work. Always be goal-oriented because if you don't have a goal, you won't be able to achieve something. So first thing is, of course, to have a goal. And then how do you achieve that goal? Mm, well, you do the things you need, need to do in order to do the goals. Goal. So do you have to work? Uh, and then you have to work. work. It's not like if you can just sit and play video games once you're yeah. finished with your school you're focused and work hard and yeah. a lot of hours, right? How many hours did you work? 3,000. 3,000 hours. Oh, my God. And did you feel like giving up in the middle of it sometimes? Did you feel like mm, I'm done? And yeah, like, yeah, like, for example, at the end of the program, before I started doing the electives, I, I was doing integration, and integration was really hard for me, uh -huh. but I never gave up. And some of my mom's family friends tried to help me, but they couldn't, And but they were able to at least encourage me. But... But my mom found a family friend called Suginya Auntie, and she knew the concepts which I was learning. So she was able to teach me, and eventually I understood them. So you're also telling me, you know, never give up, but also where there is a will, there is a way. So if you really want to do something, you can find the help that you need to get it done. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's that's a lot of advice. I think that's an advice that all of us can use throughout our lives, not only for academics, but as we go into move on, grow up, go into college yeah. and go into a job. A house. Yeah, there you go. So have goals and then uh, don't give up, work hard for them. And where there is a will, there is a way. All right. So Samuel, tell me what inspires you? Do you look up to some people that you know of, you've heard of or read about, uh, something interesting about them that motivates you to keep moving as well 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 the thing which I usually use is 10,000 hours because famous people like Steve Jobs Bill Gates Ramanujam and the Beatles they use 10,000 hours to become good at something now that's a piece of information even I did not know so I'm gonna remember you with this information Going it's very nice to uh, meet somebody who um, has covered so much outside of school. It's certainly, you know, inspiring, I'm sure, for other kids who are watching today to know that there is, there is always an option in a direction that you like. If you like a subject, then you don't have to be limited by what you're getting from within your school, but you can go out and get a lot more and do. There are a lot of resources out there, so you can go and you can do as much as you want. Great. Right? Wonderful. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much for coming to Foundations TV mm -hmm. today. It was really enjoyable listening to, uh, you know, uh, talking to somebody who has uh, achieved so much. And I wish you all the very best as you grow thank and you, you move forward in your life. And may your dreams always come true. Thanks, Mom.